Good morning, folks. Just thought I'd start off the day with a little video I took yesterday morning on my way to work out of my driver's side window. Probably shouldn't have been doing this while I'm driving. Probably shouldn't do this yourself, but the chemtrails were just too pretty not to. Speaking of what's up in the air, NASA put out a pretty good article about the microwave and infrared visions of the tornado outbreak last week. We'll put this article below as well. This is from Israel about the opinion of the Israeli people. This is another interesting article about these lines of clouds you see all across the Pacific. Most of us thought they were chemtrails. They claim it's from ships. Let's make up our own minds. And if you only read one article I bring you today, let's read this one right here. This is from MR2 Tough. Thanks for sharing this one. Having a quick look at some of the earthquakes on the western side of the world, we had a 4.8 in Haiti, that's very large. And while we're used to seeing earthquakes in California, and even some in Nevada, Idaho, and Utah, this is a very large earthquake swarm, even for that area. Many of you know yesterday we had a moderate geomagnetic storm, uh, lasted for about seven hours. This is due to minor coronal mass ejection impacts. You can see the temporal variations here on the induction magnetometer. A very strong disturbance here on the flux gate. You can see that the black line dipped way even out of this chart. Coming over and looking at our ionosphere, this deviated from the standard curve. This is the total electron content, so we're juiced up, and that red line going above the blue signifies that our ionosphere had to work overtime to absorb the radiation. A little bit of good news, the Earth footprint is away from that mega spot, but a lot of the damage is already done. We have a level 3, an S3 radiation storm, and it doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. may even get another boost when the impact from this massive coronal mass ejection, actually kind of a double ejection, hits Earth. And if there was any doubt whatsoever whether or not this thing was coming, you can pretty much put that out of your head. This is going to be almost a direct blow at some point today. Now while the sunspot is pretty much a shadow of its former self, uh, it does still pose some danger for strong flares and CME, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, also keeping an eye, folks, if you live in the southern central United States, you are under a severe tornado outbreak warning uh, pretty much all day today and into this evening. A lot to keep an eye on, folks. Let's await that uh, coronal mass ejection impact. Don't forget we have all those planetary alignments to go along with the space weather, so we're on an earthquake watch. That's the news, folks. Be safe.